Hey guys, I enjoyed this soap the other day, and so I thought, hey, let's use it again before we um, get too far uh, removed from it. And uh, that same shave, I used the Timeless 68, and this is the titanium, and I decided, hey, you know, I really enjoyed that razor too. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna bring in a different brush than I had before. This is a Whip Dog uh, High Mountain White, and it needs some more uses on it, so I can figure out if I, uh, really like it or not. It seems to have a little bit more tip feel than like uh, my High Mountain White from maybe Sterling or uh, what are the other ones I have. Um, so I want to put some uses on it and just make sure. Oh, we had a little bit of a power outage right there. How about that a little drama? How about that? Everything is shutting down. My phone is still recording, of course, because it is, you know, oh, there we go again. It's raining outside, um, so uh, you can see me, um, so there's that, and I have a basin system here, and I've got light coming in from the outside, so I guess I can just keep on going, right? I won't be able to see so many details. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we'll see how many times it shuts off and comes back on. Probably means my internet is going to be screwed up today. All right. Showed you the brush and the razor, and let's look at the blade. This is the Nasset that we've been using, and um, uh, 445 or 446 looks like the use count for uh, this particular shave. Just check the um, description, the title of the video usually has it in there too, uh, for the exact count. 68 is a mild head. Okay, we'll keep a count. That's three times, four times. Maybe we have a tree down somewhere because of the uh, rain. Um, I haven't, I've just been in this location for a few months, and so we haven't had a ton of rain since I've been here could be that this area gets hit pretty hard with power outages um, in rainy situations. I don't know yet. All right. Well, the good news is none of my shaving requires too much power. Um, just the, the lighting is about the only thing. All right. So let me, uh, we've got the blade installed. The brush has been soaking for several minutes. Let me uh, get my face wet and then we'll load up. All right. So this is the vegan formulation of the Holy Cow soap base. And uh, this knot is big. Um, I think it's just a 24 though, but it's got a lot of loft and so it holds a good bit of water. And I learned last time, I think I loaded, if you add up all the loading that I did, it was about 40 seconds. And I still didn't have tons of lather. So let's go to 50 seconds this time. Um, I did uh, before I think I did 30 and then a couple of uh, like two five second loads during the shave because I realized hey I don't have enough soap so let's uh, do 50 uh, we'll I got a nice round number right there uh, 30 seconds on the next minute is when I need to stop I'm gonna keep an eye out uh, if I shook out too much water it could get really pasty and I usually like to add water that point because it just picks up soap a little easier yeah we've definitely switched away now from the bubbly stuff but we only have 20 seconds more to go let's add just a little bit of water here I mean just I'm, I'm using some some droplets off of my fingers so you know 10 droplets something like that all right so 20 more seconds of uh, loading we'll start uh, So we start at 30, so we'll go to 50. This soap base is just one that just needs more product. In my experience. And there we go. 50 seconds of loading. Surely we have enough. 
pick sis. Uh, this is one, the last video had uh, a part of it that was uh, had been scooped and the person decided instead of shaving off the top to kind of dive down deep in one of the sides. And that's not how I scoop. Uh, if I, I do like to dive down deep because uh, with, a, with a, a spoon, but only deep enough to get one shave. I don't like to keep digging down because the bitter smelling stuff is going to be deeper. The, the stuff at the surface has a tendency to be a little bit weaker in scent. Uh, and so that's why I don't like gently shave off the top layer each time. But what I do is I might scoop an area, but then I'll move to another area to scoop again. And, and so that's it's kind of a, a modified approach there. And I believe it uh, spreads out the lowering of the uh, soap level instead of having it be one deep well in one area. And then if I ever do brush load it, then it's kinder. If I, what I do is I start around the edge because you know a lot of brushes will start to work away in the, in the middle part first. And so I mitigate that by uh, start, when I scoop, I start around the, the sides like that. Just a little trivia, very trivial thing there. All right, holy cow, 1776 is the scent. I got some, when I, when I was pressing, in, that's what I was talking about just now all that to say that I had pressed in the, the soap to fill in that hole the deep hole that was the hole went all the way to the bottom of the container and so I pressed in all the soap around it to, to kind of more level off the surface to make for better brush loading all right let's start working it in the bowl here now this feels pretty dry you know, maybe I shook out too much water from the, the brush, and that's just fine. It'll probably work out. I'll just, uh, I just won't work it very long before I start adding some water here. I'll go ahead and add it a little quicker than usual. And then we'll show you guys the bowl while we work. Three D Lather Bowl by Roger Quintero, as kind of usual. I don't really think I've gotten too much soap. That would be funny. I, I do try to err on the larger side, but I don't think I've done that today. It'll be enough. You know, it's not. I've put in, uh, 15 c uh, cc's or 15 milliliters sometimes if I think I don't have enough product one of the things I do is I will add in I mean you can go ahead and get enough product right you can you can get more soap you can kind of wipe the brush off so that you can go in and and pull up more soap uh, you can do that but Sometimes I do it in reverse. I will add more water. I'll add enough water to where I think, you know, this is going to give me the amount of lather that I want. And then if it doesn't, I know that I need more soap. Because sometimes the soap will just kind of explode with more water and, and, uh, and you didn't actually need more product. Yeah, we're we're kind of, you know what? I think this will, I think this will probably do. Let's still add a little bit more water. I want to. I do a little bit of hard pressing 
just to kind of make sure I get all the water out of the brush there. Although this one kind of started out so dry, I don't think that'll be an issue. But I don't spend very much time during the several minutes that we're working up the lather. I, I don't press hard for very long at all. I don't want to kind of put that kind of strain on my brushes for a long time. Well, shall we see if this lather is going to work well? Let's give it a shot. Got my face a little wet. Let's see how things go. Big bloom here. My other high mountain white, one of my other ones is a sterling. You've seen me use several times already. And it also has a large bloom like this. Matter of fact, I'm afraid that the lather is going to start flying off. So let's remove the big excess chunks from the side of the brush. And what we're feeling for is kind of a, a pasty, dry feel. Tip softness pretty good, nothing prickly at all. It's not luxuriously soft like a, a finished badger that has had its you know tips treated by some type of bleaching type agent. If you like a very tiny amount of scrub right now, I think that's what this one is offering you. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to change over time. Feeling like I need a little bit more hydration. I'm really liking the smell. This is one where the for a year or two I looked at the artwork and really enjoyed the artwork on this soap tub but something about the description put me off and I don't remember what that was but what, whatever it was it turns out not to be justified because I, I do enjoy this scent quite a bit nothing in here that bothers me at all so whatever in the scent notes might have caused me pause is, is uh, must be just a, a little supporting note or something like that extra you can put it back on your brush if you want to kind of redistribute it you can put it back in your bowl if you want to do that oh we've got look at that we've got tons of lather here I'm glad I didn't go back to the tub because I've got lots of lather that see and that's might be why I started just adding water to the where I thought maybe the lather would need to be instead of always going back to the soap each time because sometimes you get surprised that you actually did have enough soap. It was just that it needed more work or you know something like that before it was able to really explode into the, the lather form. Well, it looks like the power is remaining stable for a little while, so that's good. Hopefully the internet router comes back online. Man, there we go again with this smooth shave. Uh, just 24 hours worth of growth, and, and that is what this blade likes. And even with this old blade, I'm not getting a tuggy feel, anything like that. Oh, uh, sorry, I should have rephrased. Um, I'm getting a, just a lightly uh, tuggy feel, not really a big deal at all. I 
do plan on stopping here in not too distant future with an asset just enjoying some other blades I've got a uh, Gillette spoiler blade that I'm interested in continuing use on I want to try to find uh, some more razors for my Persona 74 that's a legendary vintage blade I've got a uh, Quizomet um, stainless all right rinse all right loaded back up I don't consider this brush too floppy you know guys who like high backbone probably would but it is a nice easy splay it is keeping the tips you know toward my face and that's kind of what I I do like to have in a in a brush I did add some more water to the bowl when I was adding water before and I knew that my face just kind of had some concentrate on it because I knew if my if the first pass did then the other passes would need a little bit more and so I just spent a little time working that in to the lather Yeah, I found a sushi place. It has this cool carousel, little conveyor belt system. To take the sushi from the kitchen around to all the tables. I thought it was pretty neat. I'd never, I'd seen a couple of those on TV. Uh, like over in Japan or something. I like sushi. I like kind of the plain stuff. I don't really like the roe. Uh, I don't like cucumber. I don't want crunchy coldness in my sushi. Um, I like the uh, I like the cream cheese and the salmon uh, stuff, guacamole, uh, avocado in there. Uh, I like the cream cheese because I like I love bringing in the wasabi into the into the sushi bite. And the cream cheese is this wonderful place that the wasabi can, it's a smooth place where the wasabi can play. And uh, I like to do that. I like some of the other stuff too, but nothing uh, too exotic. Salmon, tuna. I like some of the eel stuff. It's got that cool uh, sweet sauce on it. A lot of times the eel stuff does. I don't have to have it uh, tempura inside. I do like uh, some of the shrimp tempura rolls though. Like a little crunch. We do have a nice sushi place here in town that puts like, a, you know, fried tempura crumbs on top of the sushi roll. That's, oh man, they've, they've done some research and that's a really good one. That works really well. So the sushi place with the carousel that I'm talking about, uh, the sushi's not amazing, but it's pretty good. I'll take my kids to it sometime. I think they'd get a real kick out of the uh, the whole conveyor belt system. My son likes a sushi. Uh, I don't, I can't remember if my, I don't think my daughter does. Oh, she likes crab. And so maybe she would pull the crab chunks out. I think maybe that might have been what, what happened in past sushi adventures. Cross grain now my tricky area. I will hit it one more time with a touch up. And uh, let me, what I'm going to do is, is before I put my touch up on, I'm just kind of going to wet my face just to bring out some of the extra slickness. And just kind of reach in there with some, with my fingers and put that down like that. And we'll do the against the grain part here. And again, with this razor, it just turns out to be a, a very good match for me and my skin in the against the grain. Uh, 
in all other situations, it's a nice, smooth experience uh, with the grain and cross grain. But then even once I've hit it enough, I can do against the grain. Uh, and I've had to do that with this uh, blade as it's gotten older. Normally I skip ATG. Uh, face feels nice after the shave. And uh, man, I'm glad I didn't dip back into more soap because this is, this is pretty much the perfect amount. Another couple of passes I could squeeze out of here if I wanted. Uh, and just a, a nice uh, slick soap base. Uh, very good. Uh, whether you are thinking about vegan or tallow. And I think in general with Holy Cow I would rather have the tallow version. Um, of a if, if this was if I was just buying it retail and I could choose 1776 or really anything I would go for the tallow version but uh, but the vegan works very well too and uh, and so the, yeah the um, the brush here continues to have just that little bit of a light light scrub to it and if you like your lathers even wetter than I do you'll feel that scrub more if you know, like the majority of people you like your lathers drier than I like mine, then you won't feel that, sc that scrub or that scritch very much at all. It'll feel luxurious and nice. But I'm right in that middle ground and I did pick up a little bit of that kind of um, uh, scrubby feeling and I'll bet um, almost a prickle in a sense, but, but really an easy going prickle <laughs> if we can put it that way. Um, I'll bet it's going to reduce over time slowly. But I bet it. I bet it will. I bet it'll, the tips will smooth out a little bit more. And here's what the big old knot looks like after taking it, giving it a good rinse. It's got a lot of room in there to hold the water and lather. So good flow through of the lather. It doesn't, um, and, and it, it, it splays easily and big in the bowl. But it uh, it's got enough backbone to where it keeps the tips at you. If you, uh, depending on how you lather, if you like a, uh, uh, just a touch of, of a scrub, but you like a big plush brush, then this, this one might be a good one for you. And I continue to really enjoy this uh, particular handle. Um, the only time I didn't like it is when I, I had it in a declaration knot that I had knotted myself. And the declaration loft is, it almost feels like it's maybe like this, you know, and it, so it, it just felt like a short brush, and I, I didn't really enjoy that. Um, I have since tried to find other uh, decoration brushes where the loft is uh, a little higher, and then I enjoy them. So, big old brush there, and uh, yeah. Yeah, if uh, I definitely, I don't think I'd have a problem using that one and enjoying it, you know, if I was stuck somewhere for several months. And if the tips did gradually um, get a little softer, then I could definitely uh, see enjoying it for the long term as my only brush. Uh, so, uh, wow. Yeah, like I needed another category of badger brushes to open up to me, right? <laughs> but I've started playing around with some of the high mountain whites. I believe the the one from Umo has tips that are a little too firm for me. Love the Sterling High Mountain White. I'm liking the High Mountain White from uh, Whip Dog here. I've got a Zenith High Mountain White and an Envy High Mountain White. And one of those is is kind of like the sterling and it's plush and soft and wonderful and the other one is is more like the uh the umo one where I, i'm not quite enjoying it as much and i can't remember which one is which but uh yeah um enjoying the white, high mountain whites over the last couple of couple of years now i like the silver tips quite a bit but some of the silver tips are a little bit on the overly floppy side. And so in that sense, I would prefer when comparing those to the high mountain white, I might rather enjoy the high mountain whites that are on the softer end of the spectrum more so than a silver tip. There are some silver tips that 
are, uh, are, are less uh, floppy and, and they uh, probably enjoy those perhaps more than the high mountain whites, even the softer ones. But uh, well, you do have a range uh, among categories and there's not a standardized uh, thing that brush makers have to go by to say whether something's a silver tip or a high mountain white. Uh, you just kind of have to play with them all yourself or uh, read reviews on them so that you know uh, what end of the spectrum they, they kind of end on. Uh, so after the shave, man, I've got some alcohol splashes. They've been kind of calling my name lately. Um, uh, yesterday, I'll tell you this, I had the cedar sent from Authors Ridge. And my first impression was that it was an okay cedar scent that I could enjoy, but I put the Hallows balm on and it brought something out in that cedar that I grew to not enjoy. Uh, and so maybe it was too much of a good thing, you know? And, uh, and so perhaps, like I've done in the past, I've taken a, a woody note, like a sandalwood or a, an oud type scent, kind of a base note, and I've added that to a, a soap experience that needed that extra woodiness or base notes, like a, a citrusy soap. And then I would add those kind of base notes as the uh, balm, you know, after the shave. And they had a great combination. And it occurred to me after I was suffering through, I'm teasing, but I wasn't really enjoying the potency of the cedar yesterday uh, as the time went on. Maybe I could do the reverse and it would work fun too if I had uh, the cedar scent from Authors Ridge or some other enjoyably cedar type scent. Uh, what if I then countered it with a uh, maybe a citrusy post shave product or a lavender post shave product or uh, one of those that would benefit from kind of a, a woody note? Um, you know, maybe uh, maybe American Blend. I really enjoy the American Blend. Uh, scent and so uh, I'll bet it might be neat with some some woodiness why don't we just uh, why don't we just try that try that today this is one that I bought uh, he may still have some of the old school ones at the old school price they bumped up their price to twenty dollars for aftershave and it's probably not worth that um, in generally speaking unless they have a scent that you're not able to find anywhere else this is Yves Saint Laurent Rive Gauche is what this one was inspired from. I just, I don't even think, I don't even know if this is going to be a good match for the soap we use today. Um, but it's, the soap isn't really being resident too much on my skin. So I don't think it's going to clash. I just felt like wearing this one today. Very nice. We used a lot of water. We used... 32, 32 milliliters of water. That's a good bit of water. Um, the 50 second load was perfect. It was perfect. Very nice. Um, so 32, 50 seconds. That is more than most, but, uh, but that's just the, uh, the holy cow recipe. They, I guess they put some goodies in there that kind of prevent it from being quite an economical soap. And, uh, and people like their skin goodies, so people are liking their products, it looks like. I think, uh, I think we're good. Man, I'm enjoying that uh, splash. It's got a hint of a little bit of menthol to it. And uh, I don't think there's anything else to uh, share. I'm gonna go ahead and take my, my Sharpie and put another dot here. I think I did it last time, so maybe 445 is the correct count for the Nasset. Five more uses and we get to a nice round number and I'll put a pause on the Nasset and use some other stuff. And uh, wow, and I haven't even flipped it yet. It's crazy. All right guys, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves and I sure hope there's been something in this shave to help you out in your shaving journey. Um, I'm just, I'm having fun playing around here. And the, uh, the whip dog brush was, was fun. I definitely enjoyed the scent on this soap. It's not super strong, but I noticed today a little bit of a sandalwood aspect 
uh, to it, especially when I was cleaning off my hands from press my thumbs from pressing it in. That uh, dry uh, woody note was was very prevalent. Uh, I just enjoyed it all the way around. All the best to you. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Good night.